Hi, hi, friends. This is Blessed Prince with you. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to handle mouse event, okay, various mouse event with a simple example. Now, uh, here you can find a screenshot where you know, I've drawn a circle based on dragging the mouse, okay. Let's see, like this, let's see various uh, mouse events, how to handle that with a simple example. Let me go to the NetBeans, okay. You go to my NetBeans. Okay, so now create and I've already created a project. I'll right click. I'll say I wanted to get a new applet and let me name that applet as mouse event demo. Okay, so I'll, I'll choose to create that file. So now here here I am. Okay, so in as as I as you saw here. Okay, now here I'm going to have a, a label X a label Y and two text fields and I'm going to draw a circle based on various events okay let's see for that so I require two labels so, okay I'm going to create a label reference let me say label label x okay x I'm going to create another label variable okay fine another label variable let me say comma okay I can I can choose to do that comma label so we have created two label and I require also two text fields. Okay, so let me see to display the x y values. Okay, so I'll say text field. Let me say text x and comma text y. So I have created this. To I've, I've just declared. Okay, I've declared this reference variables. So I'm going to create that variables here. Okay, let me say I wanted to create label x. I'm going to instantiate that with a new label. Okay, I've obtained a label object and my label should be titled X. So I can choose this constructor. Okay, I can choose one of this constructor to do that. Now if you want to see, let's, here are the constructors. Okay, I'm choosing this second constructor. Okay, the same way I have another label Y. Okay, I can say I, I'm going to instantiate that and I'm going to say this label as Y. Now we have created two labels and the same way I want to create the text fields. Let me say text x. I'm going to instantiate this text field. And here we don't want any string. Let me so I'm going to choose a width of five. Okay, so in the same way, let me create text y. Okay, instantiate this new text. Okay, and this size also I'm going to make it five. Width is going to be five. Okay, now these are ready. Now this uh, this uh, controls are ready the two labels and two button uh, two text fields I need to add this to my window so to this panel okay for that applet so now let me say add of this label X okay and after label X I wanted my text field so let me say add of my text X okay the same way add of my label Y and add of my text Okay, now we have added these to my windows. Okay, so now that is ready. Now what I wanted to do. Okay, so I wanted to handle. Okay, let's see first what's happening. Okay, let me override this pain method. Okay, because I'm going to draw some circle based on my mouse event. Okay, so I'm going to delete all the steps. Okay, and here we are. Now let's see, let's see what's, ha what, what's going to happen. Okay, if, when I when I run this file. Okay, we have done all these things. Okay, fine. So uh, fine. So now here we have got this. Okay. Now what I wanted to do. Okay. So when I click somewhere here, I want to get the X Y locations, and wherever I click, I wanted to draw a circle. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. But that is not happening. So in order to listen to that event, my component should be registered to listen to a mouse event. Okay. So okay. So for that. Let me implement a mouse listener. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a mouse listener. Okay, mouse listener for this current object. Okay, and you saw that this takes an argument of mouse listener. So to do that, so my class is going to implement the mouse listener. Okay, okay. mouse listener. So this is an interface, mouse listener is an interface, okay. So when I implement that interface, I am supposed to implement all the methods that are available within that interface. So I implemented all the methods, okay. So what you need to do when your mouse is clicked, okay. Whenever my mouse is clicked, okay, whenever my mouse is clicked, I wanted to get my 
the x and y location okay so for that let me declare two variables again let me say integer x comma y okay so i wanted to get this x and y whenever my mouse is clicked so let me say x is equal to okay from my event so what happens when i click okay a mouse event is generated and when i whenever i click okay so the mouse clicked method is going to be invoked and the mouse event what has happened is pass time so i'll say e dot i have the method I will get x okay i've got this x the same way let me say y is equal to from my event object let me get the y okay so now both is done i have obtained that okay now what i need to do by the way i need to i need to set it to my text well, like i can say text x get to this i can in call this set text method and i can pass this x as x is an integer i'll concatenate with a empty string so that it becomes a string so let me say same way for text y let me say set text x y okay y and i'll concatenate with a now string okay now text is set also i said i wanted to draw okay what i need to draw i wanted to draw a circle when i click on this mouse okay so let me see with this with this graphics object let me call this uh, fill oval method so that okay fill oval where i will specify the x and y okay x and y and the width and height okay so x comma y and this width okay and height so i'll declare two other variables okay that is integer uh, width okay width equal to some 30 and as i wanted to get a circle i will say integer height is also equal to some 30 okay which is of equal size and x let's initialize with initially let it be some 100 100 okay initial setup okay so initially uh as uh, 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 this drawn so width and height and uh, fine so width and height so initially a um, circle is going to be drawn at 100 100 and with this value 30 30 but uh, further what i wanted to do whenever i click on my window i wanted to get this x y and i need to draw okay now I, i'm go, i'm okay so i'm going to get the new x and y here and i'm going to I, I need to call this paint so i can do with the help of repaint method okay so repaint method okay whenever my mouse is clicked okay so it is going to get this x and y and repaint is going to be called and this this oval is going to be drawn on this new x and y directions okay the same way like whenever whenever my mouse enters okay whenever my mouse enters the window okay let me let me just make some changes here let me say set background okay color dot red let it be okay same way whenever i exit the window okay exit Okay, let me make my background as some other color. Okay, so let it be some blue. Okay, well, my mouse is exiting the window. Fine. So, okay, later let me handle with mouse released and mouse pressed. Okay, so as of now, let's see whatever with whatever we have done. Okay, so let's try to run this file. What's happening? Okay, so initially at 100, 100 with size 30, 30, a circle is drawn. Okay, so when my mouse is entering, okay, now here I got this as red. Wherever I click, I got this X, Y locations and my uh, circle is drawn wherever, okay, this circle which is in black in color. Okay, wherever I'm trying. Okay, so let me close this now. Okay, now I wanted to uh, I wanted to uh, do on um, okay what if mouse motion listener. So this is now this is what we are doing is a mouse listener. Okay, and I also wanted to implement mouse motion listener. Okay, which supports me with other methods like mouse drag. Okay, let me say mouse motion l i s t n e r. Okay, mouse motion listener. Okay, I'll implement that methods implement all abstract methods okay here we go so now here i've got this mouse drag okay now what i wanted to do when my mouse is dragged i wanted to make my circles size bigger okay so what i will do i, I will simply say my width plus plus okay and 
height plus plus fine okay and i will also get the same x is equal to my even dot get x okay and y is equal to my even object dot get y okay fine so and from here i'm going to call repaint okay i'm increasing sorry i'm increasing the width and height of my circle okay that is over fine so now mouse moved move mouse moved also so and somewhat whenever you move over the um, component okay you can you can implement whatever you require okay let's see okay with height and so let me try to run this file okay so this is our applet window i move in okay wherever i click i got that click is handle okay while i'm dragging oh it's not happening okay because what's what's the problem now here our our okay it is not registered to listen to a okay mouse motion listener so i'll say add mouse motion list of we have implemented it okay even though we have implemented it and the method is available my this component is not registered to listen to that event okay so now we have done that okay, let me run this now okay so i move over okay i click it is happening but when i drag okay when i drag can you see wherever i drag in the xy locations it is drawn it is incremented my width and height is incremented okay now now again when i click what's happening it is it is with the same size so i wanted to when well my uh, when i release i wanted to when i release the mouse i wanted to reset to the same size so i'll go to this method okay mouse released okay mouse released i'll say my width is equal to to the initial size and height equal to okay to the initial size that is 30 okay now let's try okay very good let me expand this okay moving here clicking okay dragging and my size is getting this circle size is incremented and again i click it is come back to this 30 size okay so that's all guys you can try you know handling uh, handling events you can do a lot more things okay so i hope you've got something in uh, handling this mouse event thanks for watching god bless you see you in my next video